In this video, an object of mass 3.2 kilos is pulled up a smooth plane inclined at 38 degrees to the horizontal by a light string parallel to the plane. Given that the object is accelerating at 0.2 meters per second per second up the plane, find firstly the tension in the string. OK, let's draw a diagram so we can see what's going on. So here's my inclined plane. Here is the object on the plane. This angle is 38 degrees. We've got this string that is pulling the block up the slope. There will be tension in that string. Okay. There is no friction because the um, surface is smooth. We will have the weight of the particle ver working vertically downwards. And it has a mass of 3.2 kilos. So its weight will be 3.2 g. There will be a normal reaction force working perpendicular to the plane. And our first job will be to break this force up into its component parts. OK, so that angle is 38 degrees. This side will be 3.2 g sine 38. And this side will be 3.2 g cosine 38. Okay, the opposite and adjacent sides of that right angle triangle. Okay, so this is the picture. Oh, and we're accelerating at 0.2 meters per second per second. So 0.2 meters per second per second. Okay, right. So first of all, we want to find the tension of the string. So what we're going to do is we are going to resolve uh, parallel to the plane. OK, that's the first thing we're going to do. So if we look at parallel to the plane, we've got the tension and we're going to take upwards um, up the plane as positive. OK, we've got the tension working up the plane. So we've got T. What we've got working against it is the gravity. OK, that component of the weight, the 3.2 G sine 38. So take away 3.2 G sine 38. OK, so we've got the tension. We've got the 3.2 g sine 38. There, that's the net force. And that's got to be equal to the mass, 3.2, times by the acceleration, A, which is the 0 0.2. So that gives me a nice little equation for T. So if I do the 3.2 times the 0 0.2, uh, that's 0 0.64. And I'm going to add. 3.2 times, I'm going to use g is 9.8, 9.8 times sine of 38 degrees. And that gets me 19, um, well, 19.947. So I'm going to put that to two significant figures, which will give me to 20 newtons to two sig fig. OK, so that's my tension. Now, for part B, we want to find the normal reaction between the plane and the object. So, in order to do that, I'm going to resolve this time perpendicular to the plane. And I'm going to take that direction as positive. OK? So, what have I got? Well, I've got R working against me. I've got the 3.2G cos 38. Now, that's got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. However, the block isn't accelerating uh, perpendicular to the plane. It's only accelerating parallel to the plane. And so this will be 0. And so R is just this 3.2g cos 38. So 3.2 times 9.8 times cos of 38. And that's 24.712. So 25 newtons to two significant figures. OK? So that is how we can solve this problem.